Hey, what's up guys, it's Cyclo here. Welcome back on my channel for another video and today I'm gonna do a review and give you some tips about the Alienware M17R3 which is the new 2020 refresh of the you know, legend design uh, super thin gaming laptop from Alienware. Um, so this year there's uh, some changes uh, on the device and the major one are in terms of hardware you got the last 10 chance uh, cpu from intel and you got the refresh of the nvidia cards with the 2070 super and 2080 super uh, which are non max q card uh, there's another thing that is pretty interesting is about the memory you can now go up to 32 gigs of ram instead of 16 last year they had also um, high endurance clear card on the chassis you know, especially in the white one, because with the time you had some um, some strange traces on it. Um, so we, we have to see if now it's it's gonna be solved or not. I'd say it's more like uh, between uh, a smooth and soft touch. It's not soft touch, but it's between those. It's between smooth and soft. So it's it's very nice to to feel when you got your palm rest on it. So. That's a good point on that. Alright, so I'm gonna do a full review on it and give you some tips about it. I'm gonna start with the input output. So in the front you got the two speakers output. On the rear side you got one exhaust, one HDMI, a display port output, a Thunderbolt and PowerShare output, the Alienware amplifier um, ports and the power supply port and another exhaust. On the left side, you got a lock, you got the ex an exhaust, the heat unit, a USB 3.1 and the combo jack. And on the right side, you got another exhaust, two USB 3.1 and a micro SD card reader. Alright, let's dive in and I'm gonna start with the noise, because with the Alienware Control Center you can choose between uh, five different modes and where the fine curves will be adjusted uh, depending on the performance you need. So we're starting with uh, silenced, then uh, balanced performance and the full speed fans and then cold So now I'm going to talk about the performances with thermals and, you know, gaming. Alright, so let's start with the performances of Apex Legends depending on the fan profile uh, selected, just to give you an idea on how much the temperature can go down. So in this case, I of course used a support and the 100 volt of uh, 100 uh, millivolt on the CPU core and the CPU cache. So here you can see, so basically, the faster runs the fan, the cooler is the laptop and the better are the performances. Okay, so now I'm gonna just uh, say a few words about the importance of having an elevated support. Um, it, it, it's the only thing you have to do if you don't want to mess up with everything, because if the laptop doesn't get enough hair from the bottom, then it won't just have hair to 
push out hold the hit and hold the hit will stay inside the laptop this is why you're gonna have hold your chassis becoming warm in a few minutes so if there's one thing to do is just elevate your laptop I've used my personal settings for the speakers so you'll be able to hear them, they are just fantastic and loud. Another awesome point is the Thunderbolt ports uh, on the back of the device. So this Thunderbolt port supports uh, power input, so you can charge the laptop with it. But just the, just uh, I'll, I'll give you warning about that because uh, in this case I'm using the Apple 96 watt uh, adapter and it's not fully working. So the the hardware takes um, the charge uh, from 60 watt and if you use something more powerful than 60 watts it's only going to take 65 watts and it's it's not enough to to power the full laptop so you can recharge it but only when the laptop is off that's the picture that you will get if you're trying to boot the Alienware N17 with uh, a type c power input so in this case a 60 or 96 watt hour and you don't have the 240 watts uh, plugged in so you'll get that message but you still can boot and it's gonna somehow charge your laptop i was a little bit surprised that the power consumption uh, exceed the 240 watt limits but well it, it's a very powerful unit uh, considering battery life my unit doesn't have optimus i got the 300 hertz panel which is direct to directly uh, connected to the um, NVIDIA GPU so the Intel is not really doing something in there and this is why there is such a poor battery life because um, the RDX 2070 is all the time running to render the the, the image so um, this is why um, if you want a better battery life make sure you pick um, uh, an Optimus version of the laptop so I think it will be only 144Hz or the 4K version because the Intel uh, integrated uh, chipset doesn't support 300Hz panel. So just make sure and ask for um, you know um, a commercial to give you the information before you buy. 
you have to get used to the keyboard so it's not something uh, very easy to take on uh, I had the GS75 from MSI and their keyboard was better for me but this one is still uh, on the high high hand laptops keyboards Alright, so now if you want to upgrade the laptop uh, in terms of SSDs or uh, if one day you want to replace or something, it's really easy to do. You have 8 screws to remove, um, I mean 6 to remove and there's the two, the two mid screws will stay in the, in the back plate. So you also have the rubber fits, the which are very small to me and the two speakers are from the bottom. So you will need a very thin tools to remove the cover so like I'm doing right now. Don't take anything middle uh, because you're gonna damage your chassis. So just take something and pull it a little bit until the, the clips get off. And then just pull off all the plate. So on the inside you will see um, that there's uh, three SSD slots. The first one has a uh, copper uh, it sinks, which is the one that is uh, equipped with when you buy it. There's another one, which uh, one I put around turbite, and the last one is a smaller one, it's a 30 millimeter um, M.2. So the others are 80 millimeters, this one is 30 millimeters so be careful if you want to extend your SSD capacity and the motherboard is flipped so if you want to replace you're gonna have a lot of job time spent on but um, in my opinion you don't need to replace that laptop uh, if you replace it you're gonna win maybe 10 degrees over that so my really first advice is just to elevate the laptop uh, buy your support for it in whatever you do and the CPU, like, you're not gonna get 40 degrees on that, right? Even if you liquid metal the thing, you're gonna get you're gonna get 10 degrees. If you replace it with normal paste, you're gonna get 5 degrees, maybe. That's all. So, elevate your laptop, um, undervolt it with 100 millivolts, and that's the best thing you can do. Up, um, undervolt it with 100 millivolts, and that's the best thing you can do. Alright, that's all for me today, so thank you for watching, if you have any questions let me know in the comment, uh, if you liked that uh, little review let me know, and if you want to subscribe for more, feel free to do. See you next time.